Go. Hello everyone, it is I, Maltai126789, and welcome back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles 2 for the Nintendo Switch. Last time, while well, we made it to Fonset, we got to get a little bit of backstory on Rex and, you know, the loss of his parents. But we did see get to reunite with his act well his family that he currently has at Fonset. And then we met up with Zeke, we fought him, we gave him a spanking for staying up three days waiting for us, and uh, now we're at Indol. And uh, this this little girl was important to finish off one of our Blades Affinity, so now uh, Perun now can be at rank 2. It really... by the way, now we can actually start leveling her up. That's, that's kind of the thing, the gist of it, is like, yo... It's, it's cool that we got Perude, but, like, we have to now start leveling her up, which means a lot of backtracking for us, so, you know, I'll do that off-screen, hopefully. But, again, it's, she's also put on to Nia, so I don't, I won't concern myself with her right yet, but, you know, it was just a thing that you guys should probably know, just because it's pretty good. And then, right now, we're just <coughs> traveling around Indol, looking at all the spectacles and sights we have. Also, I'm just gonna tell you guys right now... For a very, 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 very future-oriented uh, video, as you saw there, uh, you know, there's there's some really good rewards for scav uh, salvaging. I almost said scavenging, but it's basically the same thing, just one's underwater, right? Uh, basically, for one of the blades we will get eventually, I will be grinding out money here because. You you want to grind out money here because this is the best place to grind for salvage salvage goods and money. Like they give you fifth a half a thousand, so 50k g for having the right materials. So make sure that you go ahead and do your due diligence and make sure you grind here because it, if you don't, well you're missing out on a lot of free money that you could get pretty much nowhere else. Basically every other place you still you only get like maybe what 2,000 to maybe the highest 10,000 so definitely take take advantage of Indol and the resources that they have uh, But basically right now I'm just you know doing the basic stuff just walking around buying stuff looking at all the places I Probably should have theory probably fast-forward most of this because again it is just me setting up for my teams which you know, I could have did way prior to that, but uh, it's whatever. But I guess in other news, I guess because I can talk about it at this point, and I didn't, I don't have much else to talk about as I show off me purchasing stuff for my blades. Um, for the Golden Country about that DLC, we are definitely going to do that DLC when it drops in September. Uh, I already ha have plans to do that, because that's basically another Xenoblade game within the theme series. It's a spin-off, but a prequel spin-off, so it's better. And also, I just wanted to talk about how, the, how pretty much the fact of the matter of the way that the characters perform in that game, and how the actual team mechanics work in that game, that are different from this game, which I'm already excited for, because it has a different layer of spectrum of battle to it that I think I'm going to enjoy. And I hope that they have more weapons, you know? <laughs> if anybody has seen the E3 uh, showing of the game, or seen any of the actual footage from the Treehouse from the past E3 that's been about a month ago... Yeah, that's, a, that's been a month ago, man. Thinking about that kind of makes me... Uh, a little bit sp scared for myself because I'm just like, wow, time is going very by very fast, and I'm not realizing it. But you know, I, sh I should be. But yeah, I'm excited for Golden Country a lot because I'm just I. What you guys don't know is because I've recorded so far in advance and I've been preparing so far in advance for this game. Like, what you guys, I can't talk about anything that I've done up to the up to this point for grinding but let me just tell you i'm almost at 200 hours and we're and i still we're still nowhere near done the game when all my grinding is said and done <clears throat> all i'm saying is that 
now that I'm playing this game again, I, well, I have a renewed joy and found in fondness of it. Perhaps like, a lot. I have a it? lot of it. Like, it's, it's in a ridiculous amount how much I enjoy playing this game again. And now I'm like, I have a Xenoblade itch, and Very I well. need it to be scratched. It is good to dwell on the Unfortunately for time us, time. we don't have enough keen eye. I, even with our dude Gorg, we wouldn't have enough keen eye to actually do that. So we have to progress a little bit in the story so Bridget could get level 2. I think that's one of the things that kind of annoys me about the game, though. A lot of skill checks. Skill checks are something that I just... If you have and pull rare blades that have the skills, it's fine. But if you don't, then you... Mm, that's a kind of a hard sell. Skill checks. Like, yeah, you had Wolfric and Poppy. So that one's easy. But like Kenai, you only have one character in the whole I game who has it. it. Uh, she probably doesn't have past level 1 at this point. And if you even if you get Gorg, I'm pretty sure you can't get his level two until a little bit later in the game either. So it's like, meh. especially because also I have Gorg equipped to uh, your uh, your girl Nia. But also, yeah, there's a Moon Cube. Uh, that's that gives you a guaranteed like if that gives you uh, if you do a Auto attack cancel. I believe it gives you a, a give may give you a second chance to use a special ability when you use it after an auto auto attack cancel. So that's cool. Uh, kids playing in the water fountain. Don't even appreciate that you drink from that, but okay. Alrighty then. I guess I guess I'm done exploring now because there's not much left for us to do. Also, I just realized I didn't get a warp for the center place, which is unfortunate. The only place that has doesn't have a central warp point. Like I was, I'm kind of tilted because now I gotta walk. But it's okay. It's okay. Uh, do I rest? No, I don't rest. Okay. I'm just wondering because I'm just I. It's been this <laughs> footage right. actually that I'm uh, <laughs> post commentating All is like. Piece. Oh, also I got the thing that actually warped us to the center, so that's cool. The stuff that I am uh, post commentating, literally all of this is from like, I would like to say May or beginning of June. And I'm just getting around to the recording because I'm not busy, but I accidentally hit the trigger, so uh, enjoy this cutscene. No more blades, no more war. What does that mean? That, my fuzzy-eared friend, is an anti-blade protest. The refugees have really been going at it since last year or so. Oh, where do you come from? What do you do? Swim, yeah? Did blades do something wrong? The Praetorium is single-handedly responsible for doling out core crystals to other countries. Though... Sometimes the likes of Dougal and Banner grab a piece of the pie. Therefore, Indol has the power to control war itself? That's one way of looking at it. At least. But war is about much more than just blades and drivers. I know that, and you know that, but that doesn't mean they're gonna accept it. I guess so. There's a lot of... Gormotti here. They fled the Gormotti War ten years ago. But here they are, refugees still. Yes, they're a funny old lot, you know. We feed them, we water them, and this is the thanks we get. Don't these ruffians know that manners cost nothing? I swear, you lend these people a hand and they want the whole bloody arm. It's easy to disregard things beyond your control. And direct your anger at targets closer to hand. Hmm. Do you have something to say? Not really. Out with it, Rex. More ordains Titan. It's dying, and everybody knows it. That's why they... Why you need Gormot. Our population is large. Larger than Uriah's. But you don't have the resources to support all those people. 
You are astute for someone so young. Us salvagers pick up more than just artifacts. I'm not daft. I know fine words alone won't change reality. So you seek Elysium? Is that wrong? No. I was just reminded how young you are. Still, if it's Rex, or people who harp on about justice with no solutions, I'm betting on Rex. I must admit, I do respect the boy's drive. Ah. I'm just stumbling my way forward. So, uh, remember when I was talking about there's going to be a reason why we need to grind money, and that's why you ha I wanted you guys to keep Indol in, uh, in the back of your minds? Uh, it's because of, remember that one inherited blade that we bought? I told you that I bought, that was worth like 5,000, uh, f no, 500,000 G? Uh, so... We're actually, to raise her affinity, we need to spend money. And actually, we have to go back to our prior location. So, after Nia jumps up here, come on, yeah, there you go. That's like, that, that, you can jump that angle. Oh, we don't have our girl equipped. Oops, because I got Perun, because I was going to try to level her up. But the, guess what? I don't do that, because I have to switch. I have to switch off, so that's unfortunate. Sorry, Perun. It's, it's not you, it's literally the certain scenario that we're in. Also, I didn't... I, 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 it's, I've yeah, been right sharpening there. my fangs <laughs> for this I was gonna say, come. please, you can't be doing this. You're not blind. Would you mind having a chat? Do, 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 do. Oh my! You, I, won't, I, guess, I guess I can't read that. My instincts carry destinies on their shoulders. Okay, thank you, me, for not giving me enough time to be able to read this. But cool. Neat. Wow. Did you guys like me reading that? Cause I sure did. Anyways, now that we're we did that, uh, now we're gonna go ahead and cut to where we need to be because we gotta go and raise an affinity for. Uh, Don't let me get Brid rusty. Not wow, Morag's br b blade. <laughs> Let's go. We're gonna go back to where the. To aid our gentum is, and we're gonna go back and do the storage room, where we helped Boris fill up all his food. By the way, that was a slog. And oh, there's a box. After it loads, do you know what this sparkly box is? Haha, <laughs> that's right. That's my special piggy bank. My current gold is. My current goal is to fill this piggy bank. Can you help me out? It's a simple task, yes? So basically, uh, if you look at Sheba's affinity chart, uh, you have to deposit a lot of money. And I'm like, oh, dear heavens, why? <laughs> As you can see, we are now broke, but we got level two with her, I think, yes. So we got her key affinity level two. And I'm like, Okay, cool. How how much more money do I need to spend before I can get it? But also, you unlock like three extra things just for doing that, which is love. good, because it would be painful if you didn't. But as you can see, her economical ability, where she collects gold in battle, is pretty broken. It gives her you more damage. Uh, entitled encouragement. I think more damage for females. Yes. And the last one is. Uh, financials, uh, I couldn't read that because I moved away, but we have a lot of money we need to give her to be able to max out her infinity, but basically, I was like, cool, I guess, I guess I can do that, <laughs> but while I was here too, I was, I decided to just give, uh, Boris all of the rest of his drinks that he needs because, you know, that is something that is important to do if we want to have him at max level. Even though right now I'm not currently using him on my team because he's equipped Rex and Rex already has a good wind and a good earth and a fire and a light. So that's you, that's basically all I need right now. So, uh, I hope we make it. I think we barely just make it. Yeah, we barely do. Oof. 
And with that, Boreas is now level 5. Also, I called him Boris. I, it's Boreas, I know. Just leave it to Boreas. I'm gonna call him Boris for all eternity, so I don't care. Yep. Just leave it to Boreas. I'll keep getting bigger and better. Huh. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but I just did. Uh, depending on what type of blades you have, it actually gives uh, certain, your character certain titles. Like, first it said Master Fighter for Rex because he had only f uh, fighting blades, or... What was I going to say? Uh, attack blades, and then it was like Wild, Wild Cavalier because now he has a healing blade with two fighting. So, that's interesting. I actually probably will check that out off screen when I get a chance to grind again today. <laughs> I know, I know, I'm, I'm insatiable when it comes to grinding. It's, it's bad. <laughs> but I can't help it. It's fun to do. But anyways, now that we've done that, basically it's just going to be cutscenes of me walking around to place to place, activating cutscenes. I don't, I won't have much more at, to add to the rest of the video. So, uh, don't be surprised that I'm not going to be commentating too much more, but I just wanted to let you guys know because... This is where the story picks up, and I don't want you guys to miss a single beat, because I don't want to have to explain it later, but I might still have to do that. Also, over here is a collection point that I hey, never, or a Easy landmark going. point that I never knew existed. There is a few in the game that I didn't know that existed, and I actually, while grinding, I accidentally found them, and I'm like, really? I... I, rem I never in my first playthrough found most of these landmarks, but yeah. But that's also a place where you can do a good deed for a Perude. Just throwing down money, so that's cool. And since we were poor, I was like, ha, ah, the poor can't get any, the poor can't get any poorer, so here, <laughs> take my money. Also, when I forcefully threw it, it was pretty funny, because it just flies off the edge. How much money do you want to throw? This much? How hard do you want to throw it? Oh, it goes off the edge. Nice. I don't think we can talk to this dude. So I, uh, never mind, we can. It's just that I didn't equip... Like, seriously, Perud, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to get the boot again. Because, again, we have more important fish to fry. But these aren't fish, these are phoenixes. I've been sharpening my fangs for this I wonder why they call foxes phoenixes. But would you mind having a chat? I wonder if there's some, uh, some lore to Japanese culture that I'm not getting with phoenixes, but I might have to search that up at some point. Wow, he's going off. <laughs> I told the children not to touch my tail, and they touched my tail. What, what the heck is that? Why these young lads, these absolute units, being jerks? I do not understand. Hmm. Don't let me get rusty. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. With that, I think now we can finally progress the game. Also, we're just re. We're also getting stuff. I love set up, this. so we're <laughs> we're gonna be doing good. All right. So. I'll catch you guys later after the next uh, couple of cutscenes that makes this video very long. And I will catch you, lovely chows, in just a minute. Or a moment. Or eternity. Oh, I just remembered. I'm hungry. Which way from here? Meh, meh, meh. Bye bye, daytime. Master Pond worked hard today. Morag, can I ask you something? 
Go ahead. Rex is the one who woke up Mithra. And I think he appreciates what that means. And? It's just that, well, you're not doing anything to stop us. Why is that? Because of Adam. <laughs> Five hundred years ago, he became this great hero who we celebrate even today. But I know him only through legends. A chance to see what his blade is capable of for myself? I confess, I was intrigued. So here I am. You know I'm not Adam, right? But you are the Aegis's driver. The second you're under Imperial control, you won't be that hero anymore. Huh. I'm not sure I follow. People with great power should be their own masters? Is that what you mean? Close enough. You can interpret it that way if you like. <laughs> Even the mighty Flamebringer can be bloody hard work sometimes. Can't you just admit the real reason? I don't like what you're implying. The inner Praetorium is beyond this gate. Here you will find the main administrative facilities. With your permission, I'll show you to your lodgings. Look what I found! Easy going! Your audience with the Praetor is scheduled for tomorrow in the Sanctum's audience chamber. If there is nothing else, I shall take my leave. Okay. Thanks for all your help. My pleasure. Good night. Night.
Hey, Pyra. So, Adam, what kind of a person was he? Should I ask Mithra? No, no, it's fine. I was just wondering. He was incredible. Incredible? In Mithra's memories, I mean. I knew him only very briefly before I went to sleep. But Mithra can't remember a more genuine, courageous person. She had never met a more wonderful man. He sounds like a real hero. Mm-hmm. And you remind her of him a lot. Oh, I do, do I? Great. Wait, what? <laughs> I suppose Mithra won't be very pleased I told you that. Pyra, come on. I agree with her, you know. <laughs> Oof, it's cold this morning. Miss Fan. Has somebody got a little crush? Nia, what are you doing here? Early riser. Always have been. Oh, I see how it is you. I wonder what Pyra and Mithra would think. Hey, no! You've got the wrong... Just... Just what? Go on. I don't know. I thought she looked... sad. Oh, good morning, you two. There's still some time before your audience. Sorry, we just woke up really early. Ah, oh, I see. That's a pretty nice mural. Very... grand. It depicts the creation of Allrest. They say this mural was painted long ago, when the nation of Indol was still new. Oh, you've been looking at it for a while? They're missing. What do you mean by they? My memories. I know that I must have been around since this mural was first painted, or even earlier, but I don't remember that time at all. Well, you are a blade. I don't know who I was, or what I did. And I'd really like to. Mithra's lived for an awful long time. Maybe she'll know something about you. Mithra called me... Haze earlier. Could it be possible that she met me somewhere before? Sometime in the past? Do you want to ask her later? Could I? Thank you very much. No, no need to thank me. You helped us too. Look at you going all red. I'll tell Pyra, I swear. What? I told you it's not like that. We'll see. Hey, relax. You'll give yourself wrinkles. A driver and blade are one in body and soul. It was you who told me that. Well, the other you, I mean. You mean Mithra? Of course. It was 500 years ago, so perhaps you have forgotten. Oh, I do remember saying that. So it's true? But how could she possibly remember? You're wondering how I could remember words from so long ago. What's this? You could call it a diary, I suppose. It contains details about my past lives. It's the only way I have to remember. When we return to the core crystal, our minds are wiped clean of all memories. Though a blade's life is eternal, our effective lifespans as individuals are far shorter than a human's. You know, it's not just me. A lot of blades try to preserve their memories in journals like this one. Even though it's often futile.
After all, a core crystal cannot protect a diary. Usually, the volume is lost to us, along with our memories. I'm fortunate amongst I'm passed down as an imperial treasure and recorded in official chronicles. Uh, Bridget? I don't know where your true intentions lie. I can only make an educated guess. But Rex, he is your driver. If you truly trust him, I would advise you tell him everything. If you can't do that even for him, you shouldn't be his blade at all. I just... <sighs> if you care about him, it's even more important. I know what it's like to be afraid of rejection. I really do. But if you don't tell him now, you're just storing up pain for later, not making it easier. The way you say that, you really do see right through me. Well, we go back a long way, as you recall. And we're both blades, after all.
Praetor. Praetor Amaltus. The boy has arrived, your eminence. Thank you. So you're Rex. I've heard much. Hi, uh, you're not the Praetor, are you? Huh? No way. Indeed. I am Amalthus. I understand your surprise. I imagine you expected somebody older. We heard that you were Cole's driver. Your, your eminence. Sorry, sorry. No need for formalities. I am a mere representative of the Praetorium. The name Praetor is simply a decoration, if you will. In any case, we're the same, you and I. Aegis drivers. I consider us equals. <laughs> I feel a bit better now you've put it that way. Your eminence. You're different somehow. I seem to recall a more forceful personality. Oh, I almost forgot. Here. I got this. From Cole. He said it belonged to you. Please. Ah. Cole. That brings back memories. We're looking for a way to Elysium. Cole told us that you would know the way. I have to get to Elysium. To... To save all rest, any way I can. I mean, we won't know for sure what we can do until we get there, I suppose. But if the stories are true, it's somewhere we can all live safely. It has to be real. Long ago, too long ago, I used to think like you. Indeed, it led me to climb the world tree. However, I did not find Elysium, or the Architect. I believe it was because I was unworthy. Rex, I know your desire all too well. I shall help you on your quest. Really? Oh, thank you so much! No need for thanks. This may be my destiny. The reason I've lived all these years. And now... Pyra. My name is Pyra. I would be honored to have a moment alone with Pyra. I'd like to reminisce a little. So old man Cole really did know the Praetor. Who'd have thought? World is small place. Will Pyra be okay by herself? He's the Praetor, dimwit. What's he gonna do, eat her? Back there, I felt something weird for a second. What? Um... Rex? It felt... Like we were talking to that Malos guy. You're imagining things. You know he's Malos' driver and it's messing with your head. They not seem alike to me. No, I know. It was just for an instant. Just this one moment where I couldn't tell if we were talking to the Praetor or Malos. Sorry. I'm not explaining it well. There are blades who are influenced a lot by their drivers during resonance. Their appearance, their personality. That's probably all it is. 
Perhaps it was due to your bond with Pyra. That could have heightened your perception of such things. It was painted 1,500 years ago. Even through exposure to the elements, it has never needed repair, always as pristine as the day it was made. The technique is long forgotten. I often wonder if we are growing as a people, or in fact, regressing. What do you think? Well, I'm just amazed at how little you've changed. Has nobody ever wondered about that? I am Indoline, and the driver of Inches. It keeps me young. If you say so. Why do this now, though? You've never let anyone go there before, have you? Times change, Mithra. So do people. That's not an answer. I would like to believe there is one who can reach the architect and save this dying world. Is that really so strange? And Rex is the one. Would you have resonated with him if he did not hold such potential? But yeah, guys, that's basically about it for this part. I know I was gone for most of it, but hey, that was a lot of story, and I hope you guys all took it in, even with uh, maybe some of the stuff that was going on on screen. So sorry about that, by the way. But I have been multi multi one two six seven eight nine, and next time I believe we're going to be doing a little bit of questing before we continue on with the story again. And uh, I'll catch you, lovely chows, then. So ciao, ciao, until next time. <laughs>